Welcome everyone to the Mega Comics Cast, episode one. One. I am your host, Matrix Lord Two One Two, and I'm with Scott, the blind dyslexic. Hello, all to the MCC. That's right. So, always wanted to do the third main cast. We have the Real Hoovians cast. We have the Everything Show, and now we have the Mega Comics Cast. And what better debut episode than to show off dun, 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 dun. all the amazing Spider-Man 800 covers mm-hmm. priced at $9.99. Keep that in mind. They're $9.99 each. Nine ninety-nine. That's worth a lot of hours. What's that backwards, hours. folks? $9.99. $9.99. That's worth a lot of hours to get these. So, I know people are going to be counting, so let's go. This is the main cover. We know that. By Dan oh, Slott. That is just... I still... Yeah. I, I know you saw, I know I've seen it before. I probably said it does dozen times. They should have did that in felt. I'm sorry. That would be the perfect one to do in felt. And again, that or black, or black I'm line. I get the... Um, maybe I should turn this a little bit because we're getting a glare, right? Oh, because yeah. it's a bag. That's why. All right. So, we got this cover, which is pretty awesome. And I'm going to have to make a room here because I want to make sure that we get all of them. Move my water on the ground there. Okay. So, again, $10. You read long $10. time. $10. More $10. And then we have this one, which oh, I think we showed before, nice. which I really like. Yes. Okay. They are really, this is really good. Been great with a holographic card with somebody with a random holographic card to me, but yeah, that's what they okay. showed me with that one. Then we have this one, which we showed this before. Nice. And again, I mixed them in from the ones I showed I got last time and the ones yeah. I got today. That would have been I, a great holographic cover if you bent it one way. And pardon the pun, but I mean, you, you bend it one way, you see one thing, you bend it the other, bend it back. Yeah. Then we have the Mark Bagley one. Which I'm a big nice. fan of Mark Bagley, the way he draws stuff. Ooh, that is nice. So, the interesting thing about these books, and we're going to do some spoiler territory in here, we're probably never going to see the Red Goblin again. This is um, a one shot. It's basically a one shot deal, in other words. I mean, we'll. I'll just explain. And then look at this one. This one is just ooh, nice. really nice. Yeah, you know, really that would have been good. It. it if they had a fold, if that was a fold out, or even on the back cover, we saw sort of either the back end of uh, Spidey. That's what they should have right. done with that one. They should have set up a sort of like a double cover, yeah, the front in one way, and then when you, and on the back cover, you've got it the from the opposite direction. And of course, I love Gwen Stacy. Oh, so that's have, a good one. Yes, you know we have that one. Now keep in mind everything I'm showing you. There's more than this. In mm-hmm. fact, I you know, you have to have a bigger budget to get more. This is, and keep in mind, they reach $10. Oh, there's a classic re- relook. Nice. And I love the fire from the mouth. That's, that even, that adds to it. Yeah. So, thank God they're not $10 all the time. Yeah. Um, we're in the, nice. the Venom symbiote battling, because yeah. that's happened in the comics, battling the... Red Goblin, which is Norman Osborn and Carnage. Yeah. Red mm-hmm. this one. Nice. I know they need a plain Jane one, but that looks. I know, and then we have another plain one. I mean, there's some plain ones. You know, this yeah. is what they wanted to do. This one, you'll probably like. Ooh, looks like it's on fire in a way. Right, he looks really good. Right, with the webs, yeah. looks like the webs. Right. This one. What would have been cool? What they could be cool is even though he took over uh, as the Red Goblin, it would be kind of neat to have have sort of like a split thing to where you have mm. Spider Man on one side, but yet have a Red Goblin esque type uh, Spider Man face on the other. And then we have the Mobius cover. Ooh, nice. You know. Okay. Then we have the pure 
white color. Just that's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not easy to get all of them. I'm gonna show them quickly. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. eleven, ten. twelve, wow. thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, so this is not all the covers, and this is what I'm talking about. Where you know you're gonna bankrupt some people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I know once in a lifetime this is, or once in a while you have a villain debut with some. No other villain in Marvel history has had this many multiple covers um, at one time. Um, this is not all of them. These are the regular priced ten dollar ones. Ten dollars each. There are other ones that are hundreds and hundreds of dollars. In fact, you know, I laid it out on the bed, it looked like I was missing one, you know, because yeah. there is another ten dollar one, which I think is might be an exclusive somewhere else. I'm gonna be picking that up this week, possibly Tuesday. Um, and if I could show what they are because we're going to look at different you know um let me see if i got the let me look at this up i'm going to try to see if i could do a search on here <laughs> let's see i don't know if i could do a search on here maybe not okay maybe i got a little website hold on a second but let's see. There we go. All right. So there is, let's see, amazing Spider Man 800. Now, mind you, I'm not going to go on the bandwagon of the other books, but Spider Man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's just show, I'll show this one. Okay, this one I want also, but it's not. It's actually thirty dollars. Okay, that looks Ooh, really awesome. Oh, that is cool. So that that would make oh of all the things uh, Alex Ross should do a litho of is that one right there. That's an awesome one. Yes, uh, I Alex, don't. That should be that, I don't that have that. Alex Ross to me. Litho, right there. Yeah, that I want. Um, there's another one, um, a wraparound cover. I love we, those. And we will, we will show this also. See that? That's nice. Like Ooh, a, nice. A close up. Yeah. Okay. Um, and again, you know, this is collecting really going to extremes yeah um you you know you got to be really dedicated and you got to be so this this is going to be this is another one i really want but of course it's a hundred dollars yeah of course they get of course that. of course um and again this is we talked about this this is the whole thing together as one big cover it's a hundred dollars it's a, actually a three pack well. There's too yeah. much. I'm sorry. There's too much on there. That should have been a wraparound. This is another cover. The Amazing Spider-Man with the blood. You know, um, this I have. This one, so that's good. But this one here, the way he looks, the Red Goblin looks fantastic. So they're putting three comics together and getting it for a hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, there was another one that was sold out. It was a I believe it was a Steve Ditko variant. It is six hundred dollars. Oh, yeah, yes. I know we tried not to curse for the first episode, but yes, six hundred dollars. Um, amazing Spider-Man. Um, I, no, I know I don't it's a black and white. I don't see six hundred in that. Right. We also got a 
I even guess. if it was color, even if it was colored, I don't see six hundred in that. We have a hundred and twenty-five dollar version of just Mary Jane that they're just making it like a thing, you know, showing off her, you know, stuff there. Yeah. That's you know, I mean, you know, I mean, when you put it all together, the amount of covers is just yeah. There's just, there's some they're just doing it for S giggles. Then you got the colored Ditko one, which you know is this one, which is you know reminds me of the yeah. the cartoon. Yeah, like I said, still, I don't see them asking that amount. Well, for, this one's two almost two fifty basically. But still, still. Yeah, I know. If it was if there was something like monumental where it sticks out, I could say I'd say yeah sure. But if it's just like oh I'm here on the wall, no no. Right. It has to be something real special for me to fork over two hundred bucks or exactly bucks for. exactly. I mean it, it's you know. Um, In other words, if it, if if they had set this thing up, oh this is going to be a one shot, uh, totally separate from all the other. This is uh, twenty five bucks too. I mean, this is, you know. Okay. You know. Again, I mean. Jane. But like I said, if it's going to be like a one-shot comic, uh, unlike all the other ones totally separate, with a special cover, fine. But if it's just going to be like, oh, here's a variant cover f with number 20, let's just say issue 25. Uh, with right. Just, no, uh-uh. Yeah. Um, just trying to see. Just trying to see if there's any other ones, and then we're going to show off the um, 801, which is coming out this week. All right, so that's pretty much that for 800. Now let's see what they have for 801 that's coming out now. It looks like we really don't have, let's see. They don't have a picture of stuff. Why not? Hmm. All right. Well, basically, this is the cover that we have for 801. And it's not that great. I mean, it's just like that, you know, supposed to be a supporting cast and it's supposed to wrap up the, the whole um, thing. Yeah. So, you know, um, not crazy about that. But, of course, yeah. nothing's happening in the book anyway. It's just tying up loose ends, I guess. Uh, and then we're going to – then it goes back to Amazing Spider-Man number one because that's what's going to be. Now, we heard that there is going to be, like, tons, tons of covers um, for – Amazing Spider-Man rebranding number one, I guess. Um, Make it stop. I know. I know. I mean, trying to find, uh, you know. And if it's a, if it's an extra special issue, I could see them going, here's your special cover. But when you start doing it for every single issue, it, it loses its, it, it basically loses its grace and its speciality. It's like, yeah. it's like what they're doing. It's like what they were doing back in the '90s, to where it's it's not that special anymore. See, the thing is, you know what? We're gonna stop now because I'm gonna, they don't even have it listed. We have. Uh, I think we show it in the. This is the the main cover of Amazing Spider-Man number one. Yeah. Um, because we have the new artist, and he's gonna have villains in it yeah. and stuff. When you look at the previews, um. It has like, um, it goes like this, and it's like this is all the variants, which I think it goes up to. I think there's a couple one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight variants, and that's not even complete. This is the cover to the second issue. Which again, okay. great. I mean, yeah, but, you know. the, but the rarity and the speciality to the comic is yeah. being lost by doing so many variants. Yeah. Now they do show what the comic's going to look like. I mean, from the artist, that's the way he's yeah. going to draw it. Again, I, 
we also found out too that the big storyline has nothing to do with the writers. They're not doing it, um, okay. which I'm not happy about. Uh, Spider Geddon, which here's the thing: I got this made by another cover too, whatever. I'm done with the going the extra mile because Dan Slott has left the book after 801 and you know everybody's got to get used to the new writer just like yeah. you know you have a new doctor you know so we'll see how Nick Spencer does uh Ryan Oatley's doing the artwork so we'll see how it goes um but again just like any comic book the writer's got to get his feet wet you yeah. can't expect or even like a baseball team they got yeah. a new manager or new players you can't expect gotta, miracles. You gotta find their proper footing, and then yeah. once they find it, I don't expect Spider-Man to battle like the biggest threat yeah, villain in the first year. I mean, but then again, Marvel is getting antsy, and they want to have a big, big sequel to Spider-Verse, which I'm against because well, to I, me, Spider-Verse, if they're going to do a sequel, wait till the writer gets himself established yeah, in the year yes, two, right? Exactly. Next if year, go throw him straight to the flames. Next year, like you know next summer but no yeah. they want to have it out now so um you know for the fall which you know we'll see again it was uh to give some spoilers now now we could spoil amazing spider-man 800 um flash thompson dies basically he's I anti-venom yeah he dies uh but not before curing peter parker's broken leg which would have led to that future where he didn't have a leg where Green Goblin damaged his leg. Remember, he gave up, and then he had mm -hmm. kids with Mary Jane. He had multiple kids. Um, so that Spider-Girl universe doesn't come to be because Flash Thompson heals the leg, yeah. so he doesn't become like like whatever. Um, and Eddie Brock lends Peter Parker the Venom symbiote to fight Norman Osborn. Um Still wasn't enough, kind of. And as he's about to, to, you know, I guess die, Peter Parker, he outsmarts Norman Osborn again. And Norman Osborn's like, I finally beat you. You're going to die. I got, he's like, no, nah, you don't got anything. Nothing's going to happen. He's like, what are you talking about? He's like, you didn't beat me. He's like, what do you mean? You're on the, you're dying, you're blood. He's like, no, Carnage beat me. You didn't beat me. Norman <laughs> Osborn and me, you wouldn't have beat me if you didn't have that suit on. Green Goblin didn't beat me. You're the Red Goblin. That's that's Carnage. They'll say it's Carnage. It's Cleese Cassidy. So, of course, because the ego flipped out, and he pissed off the Carnage symbiote, too, because he ripped it off himself. <laughs> like, I don't need this effing suit. So he takes the thing off. You know, like, F you suit, you know? Throws it like a piece of garbage, and then he goes to battle him as the Green Goblin. Which he has the suit on already, the Green Goblin suit. Mm -hmm. They just had the symbiote over the Green Goblin suit. Yeah, exactly. So, and then things happen where, you know, they tried to, every, the team tries to damage the Carnage symbiote. And I guess the Carnage symbiote tries to bond again with Norman. And because of the Sonic and all the different things, the costume almost gets destroyed. But Norman Osborn gets a shock because he experiences all the pain of the symbiote, and the symbiote doesn't experience it, because it just, you know, because it was trying to bond with him, so it yeah. gave him the pain. So it makes him basically lose his effing mind, that he's already lost his mind, but now he got such a shock in the head that he has no idea he's Norman Osborn anymore. <laughs> oh, God. He's confused, and he believes that he's Cletus Cassidy. So his mind is wiped of being Norman Osborn and everything that Norman Osborn does and everything, whatever, because the symbiote and the symbiosis and the connection screwed up his brain. So he is completely empty of being Norman Osborn. And he thinks he's Cletus Cassie. He thinks he's con, you know, whatever. He thinks he's, he thinks he's, um, what did he say? Cause they did what they did. One thing I didn't like, but, Dan Slott did the whole Batman Forever ending, where Norman Osborn's in the, um, you know, the, uh, yeah, like Arkham Asylum type of thing. And then Peter Parker wants to see if he knows that he's Spider-Man. And he says, um, 
that he he's like, you know, uh, Spider-Man's Connors or Spider-Man's Cleese Cat, something like something crazy. And he's like, oh, he's out there. He's done. He's dead. Like, going on the dead, but whatever. And to top it all off, Cletus Cassidy is really alive, held because they think he's going to turn into Carnage. They want to use him. So they're going to rebond Cletus Cassidy with Carnage really at some would, point. Yeah. Um, you know, and Eddie Brock is with Venom, and the anti Venom thing is dead. Um, the thing that they also had was that the Red Goblin had made. Normie Osborne, a Red Goblin kid. So he had a symbiote thing in him. And Liz Allen, who runs Alchemax, which if, if you know, in Alchemax in 2099 is that company. But we mm-hmm. find out that basically Norman Osborne created this company with a different face. And now Liz has it. And she's getting back together with Harry. And Harry has little Normie. He also has Stanley, which was from his other wife that became a uh, menace with the goblin formula. She went crazy and she became like demonic and she died. So he has two children. Uh, Norman, little Normie is older. But now him and his father are bonded. He's not trying to bond with his, his uh, grandfather anymore because the grandfather almost killed his mother and he got upset and he almost killed his father. So, um, they went, they put him inside this thing, like, which was like an MRI. And basically they thought they got everything, but there was a little glimmer in his eye, meaning that the red goblin thing. Yeah. He could become a red goblin thing when he's 20 or something. Maybe. You know, I mean, they may bring a red goblin back if Normie becomes evil. Yeah. Possibly. And, you know, basically, you know, Norman Osborn's like a bottom, like dumb vegetable thinking he's Cletus. So I don't know if he's going to ever fix himself, but we're probably never going to have the Red Goblin again unless little Normie is because he's basically too hard to beat. He's impossible. He doesn't have the weaknesses of the symbiote because mixed with the Goblin formula, he's unstoppable. And he basically almost killed Miles Morales, Silk, everybody. And thank God, you know, uh, Flash Thompson has a healing thing. Heal yeah. everybody. Otherwise, he would have ended Spider-Man's career, too. I mean, Spider-Man's leg was broken. It was not even to be like that time when he broke his arms or broke whatever, like, and they had Eric Larson, and he had the special metal cast that made him yeah. heal or something. No, his leg was not going to be – he was done on Spider-Man. It was not going to be healing. It was not going to be anything. So um, Flash didn't do that. Spider-Man, Peter Parker would have been done on Spider-Man. So. Um, but he defeated him. He defeated the Red Goblin. And now Dan Slott's just going to wrap everything up with, you know. And, of course, Joan, J. Jordan Jameson tried to shoot Norman Osborn in the head. And Peter Parker jumped in front of the bullet and got shot in the shoulder. And, you know, he's just mad because, you know, he felt his response, but he wanted to kill him. J. Jordan Jameson knows Peter Parker's Spider-Man, so that's a whole thing. And we also have, know that... Peter Parker has her sister, a real sister now, which is a pain in me. You know what? I don't know if I'm yeah. on board with it completely. But anyway, I, I just wanted it. Now it's been enough time for Amazing Spider-Man 800 to go out there, so that was spoilers. And again, um, there's not going to be probably a comic to come out for a long time that's going to get my attention. Like, this is this is a once-in-a-thing, yeah, once-in-a-while thing. Yeah. I mean, it's t- it's $10, mm-hmm. and, and the odds are, you know... A special storyline like this is not going to happen for a while. No. So I enjoy it while I can. I just get my regular comics for now. <laughs> um, but, you know, we had fun. We had fun yep. with getting all the Red Goblin stuff. You know. Uh, I am looking forward to Dan Slott taking over Iron Man. Nice. He, from Spider-Man, he takes over Iron Man. And he takes over the Fantastic Four. Which, if you wanted to get Fantastic Four covers... Because remember, we didn't like this one. Yeah. They created like 21 covers for August. All Fantastic Four that we went over in the Everything Show. And um, I don't know if I'm going to, you know. So Dan Slott's now got the keys to the kingdom to Fantastic Four and Iron Man. Now Mary Jane. fingers that uh, Comcast does not go with, that 20th Century Fox does not go with Comcast. So yes. we really want the MCU to get yes, you know. 
And speaking, you know, because it's related, uh, Venom looks like, according to um, Woody Harrelson, he hinted that Venom 2 is a possibility it's going to happen because yeah. he's going to be the main part and Carnage probably in Venom 2. Oh, okay. I mean, he appears in Venom 1 as Carnage probably at the end, and he'll be... And again, if there's a third one, it's going to be all the symbiotes. Yeah. You know, from that storyline where there was like five different symbiotes. So that would be like if there was a trilogy, which usually people have trilogies in mind. Yeah, nowadays they do three years. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the Mega Comic Cast. Thank you, Scott. You're welcome. We got to get Chris on here too one day. All right, there'll be more. So enjoy, guys. Please like, please subscribe. Notifications and, on. By the way, uh, part three of Alternate Route is now on the Blind Dyslexic Cliffhanger page. So check him out. We'll put a link in the description below. Um, and if you guys want to have any questions, Shoot me a question if you guys are interested in anything with the comics. Send us a message. We'll, we'll review it on air the next time we have a mega comic cast. And um, we'll talk about some stuff. Maybe some movies and TV and related comics. Well, we're into the comics. All right, guys. We're into the comics. There you go. Take care. Bye for now.